Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and I'm gonna show you our new Divi Sidecart plugin. This plugin is really cool, and it's actually one of my favorites that we released during our Black Friday extravaganza that's going on right now. So uh, in case you missed it, uh, it's Black Friday weekend, and here at Divi Life, we have released a total of 24 new products uh, in all. We have some that are still yet to be released that will be released uh, for Cyber Monday, which is tomorrow as the time of this recording. Um, but we released some epic new products, uh, some that are part of our, our Black Friday bundle that you can only get if you uh, get the All Access Pass Lifetime or you upgrade to the All Access Pass Lifetime or if you spend over $90 on our store. Um, however, the opportunity to get it free if you spend over $90 is ending today uh, because... Uh, Black Friday sales ending. Um, so uh, yeah, definitely check that out if you haven't already, but I wanna not spend too much time um, and just dive right in and, and actually show you Divi Sidecar because it is a really cool plugin. And again, it's one of my favorites that we released uh, in the bundles and so I'm really excited about it. I think uh, our customers are gonna get a lot of great use out of it. So uh, this is the demo site for Divi Sidecart, and so you can actually uh, view this on your own. Just go to divisidecart.divilife.site, and uh, it will show you all the features. And so basically, it's a Sidecart plugin that you see slide out from the side of the page. It does exactly what it's called. It's a Sidecart. Now, this is really popular right now. You see it on a lot of... Uh, Shopify stores and different e-commerce stores and stuff like that. And so it's a really great way to show your users uh, what they have in their cart uh, without ha them having to load a cart page. And so the default WooCommerce behavior is when you want to see your cart, you got to go and look at the cart on another page and have to load a whole nother page and stuff. And so it's not a really great user experience. It was great way back when the early days of e-commerce but today users don't want to have to wait for another page to load in order to, to see what's in their cart and so um, you can link to it you can trigger it from anywhere on the page so you can see here uh, the header is a little cart icon you click that it triggers it the cart's empty right now um, you can trigger it from a button so i have this button right here that will trigger it so you can trigger it from anywhere which is really really cool and so um I'm going to show you the back panel here and the different ways to customize it and everything. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and show you two additional features that are included. One is Ajax Add to Cart. So normally with WooCommerce, when you add a new product to cart, it will reload the page in order to add the, the, the product to cart successfully. And so again, it's another page load, uh, and it, it's not a great user experience either. And so Ajax Add to Cart has become sort of a standard in terms of user experience. You see that with a lot of newer online stores, but there's no way to do it with WooCommerce by default, but we have it built in here. So when you click on add to cart, you'll notice it automatically opens without reloading the page. And that actually brings me to the second really cool feature I wanted to highlight, which is auto show cart after product is added. And so uh, it slides out the cart and it reminds the user, hey, uh, or it does a couple things. One, it tells them, hey, it's been successfully added to cart because sometimes you're on stores and you click it, you're not sure what happens, if it went to cart or not. So it, it, it gives them that indication that yes, it's successfully added to cart, but then also it shows them kind of where they are in the shopping experience, what they have there in their cart, and then it gives them the option down here to view a cart page, and, and you can actually turn this off in settings if it, you don't think it's needed, um, check out, or continue shopping. Continue shopping will just close the cart. So. Oh, and I forgot to mention we have the little cool floating icon there that will stick to the bottom right corner uh, on all pages. So really, really cool. It'll show you, you um, what's in the cart and then the ability to move to checkout um, or continue shopping. So I'm just going to add a couple more just so we can see that again. Very cool. Add to cart. Boom. Now, another really cool thing about the side cart and just kind of by nature, the way it works by sliding out and covering, you know, a third of the page or whatever it is, um, is it works really great on mobile. So you can see here just a screenshot from a, a iPhone mobile device, and it's really intuitive. And in terms of mobile phones, sometimes the cart functionality can be uh, a little wonky on mobile on a smaller screen, whether it's like a drop-down cart or whatever. And so um, 
to me, this is the absolute best way for mobile devices to be able to see because you have the floating icon on the bottom right corner of the page, which is really easily accessible on a mobile phone when you're holding it with one hand. And then the way it slides out and covers, you know, however much 90% of the screen with the ability to then click the edge to close it easily. Uh, just really intuitive for mobile. So uh, really, really great for desktop and mobile alike. Um, okay, so let me show you the back panel. So everything is highly, highly customizable. And so this is the UI, uh, which we use Divi's UI for the theme options. So it feels uh, like it's part of Divi and it's a uh, kind of continuing that Divi experience where we're using their UI elements and styling and stuff. So you can turn off the auto open. So for whatever reason, you don't want to open the cart, the, the side cart when a product is added, you can turn it off. I don't know why you would, but you have that option. And then um, Ajax add to cart, same thing. If you want to reload the page instead of doing it Ajax, you can do it that way. Again, I don't know why you would, but you do have that option. Um, so just a couple other settings here. I'm not going to dive into each one. Uh, the ability to change the titles. So the default is your cart. Shipping text to find out shipping costs. Please proceed to checkout. So you can obviously customize all this to different languages. If you just want to reword it, make it more branded, unique for the specific store, you can do that. Uh, the continue button text, continue shopping. Um, you can leave empty if you just don't want it there, which is cool. Um, so lots of different options here to play with. And then the cart basket is a little floating shopping cart basket in the bottom right corner, or it's the bottom right corner by default at least. And so you can turn it off if you want. Um, you can have it so it doesn't show on, up, up on cart and checkout pages, which is actually a good idea because it's redundant. Um, and then if you wanted to not have it on mobile, you can do that, which I would not recommend. Um, and then if you didn't want to show the product count, you can turn that off because there's a little icon in the, I think it's the top left of the floating cart that will say how many products are in cart. So you have the ability to turn that off as well. So those are kind of the general options of toggling and changing text. And then if you go to the style tab here, this is where you can actually customize the colors, the basket icon color, the, the count backgrounds. Remember where it just says how many items are in the cart. Uh, you can change that, that color there. Um, and then you can say where you want it. So bottom fixed, top, top fixed. So you have the ability to change that. And then up here is the, the styling for the cart itself. The font size, open from right, or you can have it open from, from left. Right is definitely more common. I think users are used to that. And so that's what we recommend. And that's why that's the default option. Um, container height, full screen, or auto adjust. Container width. So this is cool. Uh, we change it to 400 for this demo. The default is 300, but you can make it uh, take up more of the horizontal width of the screen if you want. So 400 pixels is default, uh, which is nice. And then font size, image width, buttons, margins are really cool. Um, so very basic, very straightforward styling here. Um, not a lot to explain. The advanced tab, a couple things. If you had some custom CSS, you can put it here. Um, you can also put it in Divi theme options if you want. And then also this is the trigger class. So you copy this class and this is what allows you to trigger from anything. Buttons, headers, etc. So really, really cool. And we have some code snippets. So if you're using a default header, which adds the cart icon by default, it does a couple of things. One is it links to a page and two, there's no way to, or, or there's two problems with that. One is that it it links to the cart page. And the second thing is that there's no way to add a class to it. And so we have some snippets to resolve those issues. If you're using the default header with the, where the cart icon is added by default, uh, we can remove it so it doesn't go to the cart page. If you don't want to go to the cart page, you want it to open up the slide out cart instead. And then also um, we can make it so it'll add that class. So uh, yeah, we're, if it's not in our documentation for this plugin yet, it will be. Um, so reach out if you, you need those code snippets. We already have them prepared. So that is Divi Sidecart moved really fast uh, with showing these features in this plugin. Um, but it's very straightforward, but it's really cool. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, so you can see we actually have it turned on on our um, this is one of our another product that's part of the Black Friday bundle Divi Shoe Store, which is probably my favorite chi child theme that we're releasing. Um, as part of the Black Friday bundle. It's just really clean. The colors just work really well. It's awesome. And so you can see we already have it enabled.
here, slide out cart. So um, very, very cool. So um, coming back here to the Black Friday blog post, just quick review here. This is everything that we released so far as part of the Black Friday extravaganza, Divi Modules Pro. Uh, we're super excited about this. We've been working on it for a really long time. Uh, we have built in some custom, very unique optimizations to make it super fast. And so uh, there's some other solutions out there that uh, slow down sites. And so we made sure that when we released ours that we didn't. So we spent a lot of extra time making it so our modules would not slow down your website and all the assets are 100% dynamic, which is really cool. So we have that foundation built. So lots of custom modules and a lot more on the way. And then we released Divi Dashboard 2.0. We have a release post on that and a video I did a walkthrough. Um, so you can check that out as well. well I'm going to update the link. So that's there. Royal Commerce 2.0. And then here is the Black Friday bonus bundle. So Divi Sidecar, obviously we just went over. Divi Password Protected, a bunch of layout packs, contact forms, pricing tables, dashboard layouts coming soon. Uh, header layouts, 150 total of those. So definitely check out all of those. You can view the demos and, and, and see those and everything. Um, but yeah, there's so much here that we're releasing. This is just all the new stuff. This it doesn't even uh, touch on all of our existing products that we have in the All Access Pass membership. So uh, definitely check out the All Access Pass if you want the most complete Divi membership out there. It's going to show you um, an overview here. You can see everything that's included. So we have so many awesome plugins: Divi Overlays, Divi Mega Pro, Divi Hacks, which we released last year, which has like dozens and dozens of optimizations or um, enhancements and uh, customization options for Divi. Divi Modules Pro, which is brand new, the new Divi Dashboard. Uh, so many great plugins and child themes and layouts. So um, yeah, really excited. Uh, you can get everything for 30% off uh, for a limited time. So definitely take advantage of that while you can uh, and while the prices are still where they are, because we're about two years past due on a price increase. We've continued to add more and more products to our membership, uh, and we haven't raised the price like we normally do once a year, because it just didn't feel right to do during a pandemic. Um, but inflation is catching up to us, and so we're going to be raising the prices um, in the next couple months. So a little hint there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoy Divi Sidecar as much as I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's a really great plugin and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.